Russia's foreign minister has warned Moscow will retaliate if Russian citizens are threatened in Ukraine. Tensions are rising in the region after a local politician was killed in the east of the country. Sky News reporter Katie Stallard has the latest. This was the last time Vladimir Rybak was seen alive. Asking separatist protesters to take down their flag from the council building where he worked. He was pointed out and led away by masked men. He was found dead in a river three days later, along with a second unidentified man, seven kilometres from the separatist stronghold of Slavyansk. The police say the men had injuries consistent with being tortured, that they died from drowning whilst unconscious. But a member of Reback's party is going further. He says his friend was weighted down with a backpack full of sand. But in Slavyansk, they're denying all knowledge. But they have now confirmed they're holding Simon Ostrovsky, an American journalist working for Vice News. They're trying to claim he's a spy. He's alive and healthy. No physical harm has come to him. We need to be careful because this is not the first time we've dealt with spies. But she wouldn't say where he's being held. We asked at the occupied state security building. They said they couldn't talk to us about it. No. No? They've still got their captured Ukrainian hardware on display here, but they have by no means universal support. I don't support, I support only Ukraine, I support uh, our sovereignty uh, and uh, I believe uh, the God will help us. She says we want freedom and a good life as well. We are not against Ukraine, we are with Ukraine, but we want to live in freedom. 30 kilometres out of town we found two Ukrainian military helicopters in a field. A few interior ministry troops checking the local cars. But there is no sense any action is imminent. The government might say it's resuming its anti-terror operation, but there's little evidence here it ever really began. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Slavyansk.